Hey guys, so The Witch came out this weekend, or is it v Vitch? Because there's two V's and nobody explains why. Can someone explain to me why there's two V's? It's Witch, not v Vitch. Or is it v Vitch? Yeah. Anyways, this movie is about a family of pilgrims who comes from England to America. They have some sort of falling out with their community, some sort of religious Christianity issue that they just feel like, we can't live here anymore, we're going to go live on our own. So they go start their own little home somewhere, kind of a little farm, but they're being kind of cursed by this witch, giving them lots of issues, stealing their kids, all sorts of crap, and they got to figure out what's going on. The biggest pro I have to give this movie is the overall creepiness factor. The cinematography, the lighting, everything about it just makes you feel uneasy the whole time in a good way because that's what this movie's going for it just makes you feel like depressed and sad they got these gray tones to it and on top of that the acting from the main father and the main daughter of the movie is really on point and they just really suck you in at least in the first act of this movie you get really sucked in and it's like oh man this movie's kind of disturbing but then as far as the cons go again the first act really had me hooked but the second and third act of the movie Oh man, it was so slow to me. I am sorry, but I was just like checking my watch like, come on, why do movies have to be so slow? You can have a movie like have a higher pace and still be creepy. Just making it drift on shots for long periods of time and showing shots of the forest forever doesn't like enhance the movie, at least for me. Also, this movie really overuses the string music that really builds up like something's about to happen, but nothing really happens. You know, they'll have it be like, and then it'll cut to black. And then the next scene just kind of starts and it's like, okay, well, wow. And they do that over and over and over again. Also, when they were making this movie, I don't know if they were thinking it was going straight to a full screen TV and not to the theaters, but there was big black bars on the side of my screen. Was that just my theater? Did you guys have that? That was really distracting for me seeing these big black bars. And also maybe it's just me, but I really didn't like the ending to this movie. It's not that it was horrible. It's just that maybe I'm stupid, but I just didn't get it. I couldn't tell if it was a twist ending or if it wasn't a twist ending and I'm just like, wait, so what, what? It's probably just the fact that after the first act, I wasn't as engaged with the movie anymore and it just kind of lost me. I was kind of daydreaming a little bit. So can someone please explain the ending to me in the comments? Just put spoiler alert and then explain it. I would really appreciate that. Okay, guys, I know this movie's getting a lot of good buzz and it's getting really good reviews out there. And there is a lot of good aspects to this movie in a lot of ways, but overall the story just didn't engage me. So for that reason, it gave me blue balls. It just wasn't scary or entertaining enough for me. So guys, are there any other scary movies out there that everyone is just obsessed about and you just don't get what all the hype is about? Let me know and comment below. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And if you're not familiar with my movie rating system, please click the I above and watch my movie ratings video. And stick around after this to watch some more movie reviews if you can handle it. Go.